Everybody's talking at me. Of course, there was never any doubt Des O'Connor could sing. But it was his ability as an all-round entertainer that put his name up in lights on Britain's TV screens for decades. His was a life in show business which began in poverty in pre-war East London. My father, the scavenger, that was his, on, on my birth certificate, it's a scavenger, he was a dustman. And so I am the son of a scavenger. <laughs> but, and my mother was a cleaning lady, so there wasn't a lot of money going around, but uh, there was a lot of love. I know that sounds cliche and corny, but it's very important. Thank you very much and good evening. Speak to Desmond, good evening. <laughs> His easy way with an audience was reflected in the number of shows which bore his name. But O'Connor had worldwide success as a singer, with global record sales of more than 16 million. Not that you know no. that from the way he let himself be endlessly teased by his great friends, Morecambe and Wise. Oh, that is the best record Des has ever made. You mean there's nothing on it at all? <laughs> he was a giggler. You could make it. I tried every night on the stage to get him giggling by singing the wrong words, say, to a song, and, of course, he'd, he'd just start laughing. He's a very generous performer. He shared the laughs. And you, if you summed him up, you'd say, he's a nice guy. Will you say hello to those girls, the Spice Girls? Later in his career, there were talk shows. It's a and then daytime television. The networks always found a space for him. I have not done a day's work in my life, not since I came to show business. It's just, it's just fun. If it became work, I don't know whether I love it as much, but I do, I love it. Yeah. Hearing that, what, like happening every night here, hear the instant reaction, the applause, the fun, the laughter, the, it's, it's great. And especially when you hear someone say, he can sing, can't he? Yeah. O'Connor had been divorced three times and had four children before he married Jodie Brooke Wilson, who gave birth to their son Adam when Des was in his 70s. Mr. Jodie said to, to, the, to the guy, Bill, that's his name, but she said he's never been to a scan before, meaning me, and I said to him, they weren't invented. <laughs> I'll never forgive myself, forgive myself, I hang up over you. Uh -huh. Des O'Connor never took himself too seriously, but he was very serious about making sure his audiences had fun, and generations of them loved him for it.